Here we go, here we go. It's been a while since we hit the music, JLS. Hit it, buddy. Hey, <laughs> hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. Nick's win. Yes, Nick's win. Do not adjust your sets. That's right. Nick's win 123 to 102. Revenge game, J. Ellis. Mm-hmm. Goes to the Knicks. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And who's here for the win? J. Ellis is here right. for the win. Let's go. <laughs> this guy. The J. Ellis curse <laughs> has been lifted for the night. Number one show for the fans by the fans. CP from Knicks Fan TV. Our man J. Ellis from the Nick of Time show. We are the New York Knicks, man. Yeah, man. All right, well. A wire-to-wire -wire victory, J. Ellis. Who'd have thought? Who would have thought? Doesn't happen that often, but if there was ever a game that you wanted to to see this in, it, it was tonight's game. After being thoroughly embarrassed by this team just a week ago, uh, Fisdale's head on, on a plate, almost. You know, <laughs> hang, hanging by a, a thread. Oh, yeah. And, and tonight, there, there were several storylines, man, but let's kick it off with Julius. Julius deserves... His praise tonight, he was the MVP tonight. He earned his money, he earned his check tonight and came out with a with a end-to-end -end, um, great performance. What did you think about Julius tonight? Yeah, Julius started off great. Like, he's only been shooting 20% from three, but um, he went off tonight and shot way above that. I think he was a three from five from three-point land. He started off the, the night with a nice dish to Frank. He was inside, he was outside, and yeah. not only that... He played great defense. 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 Like, he, stayed, he started off the game playing great defense, anticipating um, passes, playing passing lanes, rotating. The whole team played great defense, man. So shout yeah. out to Julius Randle. Great game. This is something we, we wanted from you, and it's, it's, it's about damn time. Let's keep this up. <laughs> hey, let's keep it up. I mean, when you got you got your next 11 game against playoff team, so this was a good one to uh, pad the bleeding a little bit as we yeah. get as we get into the, the belly of the beast. I wouldn't call the Nets a playoff team though, but I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, tough games, tough games on the on the uh, coming up on the schedule. So good game by Julius though. I thought he was he was very patient, and, and we've seen that in his best performances. It's when he just lets the game come to him. He was yes. very patient. He mixed it up inside and outside. As you said, his perimeter, his his rim uh, defense was pretty mm -hmm. good. His facilitating, you know, even the last game he had six dimes. Uh, but yes. tonight, only four dimes tonight, but they were very impactful. You know, just playing, just taking what the defense gave him, not forcing shots. Uh, the best play of the night was when he, when he, had, uh, he had somebody on the elbow. Looked like he was about to face him up, catches RJ for the three on the other side. I thought that was his, his best play of the night. So overall, solid victory by Julius. He, he definitely felt um, like we needed this win, and he put, he put the team on his back, man. Yeah, man. The other thing I liked about that game, too, is one turnover. One turnover. Yeah. And and overall for the team, I mean, the, the turnovers wasn't weren't too bad tonight. I mean, I think they picked up their first turnover by DSJ sometime in the third quarter. Yeah, they only finished with three turnovers uh, by halftime. Facts. And I think, let's see, they finished the game with a total of seven turnovers. Total of seven. So, yeah, so that DSJ one came in the second. Yeah. First so, one came in late in the second quarter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So kudos to the team for taking care of the ball. Like, I don't think anybody on the entire team had more than one turnover at all. So kudos to the Knicks. They they, they moved the ball very well and it kicked – they took care of the ball as well. I thought the other storyline for tonight, to me, was going to be how Fizz adjusted uh, to the to the ass whooping that they caught from his team last week, and that mm -hmm. was on the hands of Colin Sexton and Garland. The, the speed guards have really killed us uh, yep. since we've started. Whether it's Kemba, whether it's you, you know, we saw Devonte um, um, from Charlotte. The, the speed guards have really been killing us. Sacramento, obviously, with the Aaron Fox, you know he's a beast. So I wanted to see how they were going to come back and 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 game plan and scheme for Sexton. Dropped thirty on us that game, only fourteen tonight. And I thought the trapping, the early trapping, was yeah. really really impactful in slowing down the guard. He's a bullet out there, Jails. Oh yeah, that boy Sexton is Woo. a bullet. So I, I thought we did a good job just really just forcing the issue and forcing the turnovers on the guards early. 
Yeah, man. Great scheming by Fizz. Uh, we adjusted pretty well. He only beat us a handful of times off that, off pure speed alone. But we give it up, man. We trapped them. We switched perfectly. Uh, people don't like to switch in defense, but it worked tonight. We'll see how that turns up, though, when we play better teams. That switching defense can help against teams like the Spurs and those guys. But tonight, improved well, and we didn't give up a lot of points. Yeah, didn't give up a lot of points, and I thought that was a saving grace for tonight was the turnovers. I mean, they caught about 34 points off the turnovers, and I mm -hmm. thought that's what really won the game for them because they really should have blown this team out by way more. And we saw in the third quarter, or the second quarter, rather, the Cavs started you know, hitting those threes, and that's what hurt yeah. us again in the, in the Hornets game. The three-point defense is still an issue. And the Cavs try to, you know, come back into the game off the strength of that. So that really is, um, you know, again, something that we got to work on. Yeah, and kudos to Fizz because when that started to happen, he called the timeout quickly. Because, um, you know, Kevin Knox, I love them, but his three-point defense was pretty bad. Yeah, yeah Knox wasn't uh, on this game tonight. And, and Portis had a stint when, during that little three-point barrage too, but he – he was able to recover, and Fizz actually replaced Kevin Knox, who wasn't giving you anything offensively and defensively, with Wayne Ellington, who made his return. Yeah. And it, it worked. Wayne Ellington hustled on defense and offense, um, and it made an impact. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely made an impact. Um, Knox hasn't been on his game lately. He had a couple couple nice plays, uh, given that he had a couple nice plays, but not on the defensive end, on his usual offensive bag. Um, unsung hero tonight, my, maybe not even unsung hero. Whole oh, team yeah. dot. Whole let's team go. dot, man. Come on, man. Let's 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 bring Damian Dots into the stage. Come on, free dot got yo. Listen, man. Listen, this guy Dotson has worked his way into the rotation once yeah. again. Yeah. Every worked single his way year. up. Worked his way up, man. The coaches seem to forget about him. Oh, he doesn't do much, huh? And then he works his way right back in the rotation every single time. Came in here with 11 points. Listen, this man beat Dennis Smith Jr. in a foot race last week. I don't know. <laughs> and I think he's hyped because for some reason he looked 30 times faster today. He, he was on his he was tonight. on his toes tonight, boy. What? Yeah, that boy Dot was in his bag tonight, man. I'm ha I'm ha happy to see that though. Definitely, man. He left 11 points. Um, was hitting some nice three pointers to keep them at bay. I love the things and the defense. Dot is always gonna bring you the defense. That that's a fact, man. Dot Dot was hungry and and Berman had asked him uh, earlier this tonight about you know not having the minutes that he expected and and you know Dot said he understood and he's ready to work his way in. He understood that based on the injury, it wasn't gonna come easy. And tonight was his best game of the season. We need that from Dotson, man, because we know the potential that he has as a three and D player. Um, the, the, his, again, his speed tonight. How about the Euro step from Dotson the Euro tonight? Step. The, yes. the, the, the Euro was nice. The it's, Euro it's was nice. Yeah, man. that was real nice. I'm sorry, because I want to talk about the three, but he didn't really shoot well from three, but it was really the yeah. twos. The twos is, and he's not usually the guy who, last year he couldn't finish layups. Mm -hmm. Last year mm -hmm. better from three than from two, but so far this year, he seems like he's finished those layups. He's finishing with Dustin. The Euro step was nice. And, yeah, that little reverse flip thing he's doing with his right hand is working, man. I'm liking it. Free dot. <laughs> Free dot indeed, man. Solid, solid performance off the bench from Dotson, man. Definitely happy to see that. Uh, I thought Frank played well. I thought Frank had some good moments uh, getting the offense together. You saw when he kept his dribble. He was really able to kind of break down the defense a little bit and take what they gave him. Found Portis for some nice ones. Uh, found yeah. Mitch as well for Alley and, or two here and there. I, I thought Frank had a pretty good uh, uh, facilitating game tonight. Yeah, he had a really good floor game. And then there was like a stint where it was pick and roll with Frank and Taj Gibson for like three plays in Tosh, a row. Taj, yeah. Yeah, and it worked out pretty perfectly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like he set him up nicely. I was like, "Yes, Frank, this is what we've seen." And like I'm liking that we actually running some pick and roll with the guards. You mixing things up. I love it, man. Good for. I wish. I wish he hit the shot a little bit better. But you know what? Great fuller game all overall. Yeah. Well, at, at least the confidence is there with Frank right now. He's taking yeah. the shots. You know, took took seven shots and night three is seven. He's got to work on it. Um, mm -hmm. you know, shooting. <laughs> I, I I was saying on my show last night. The, the home road splits for Frank was crazy. He was shooting 20% from the field at home, 8% from three. 
and on the road it was completely different. Was, I think it was like you know close to forty yeah. percent. And and you know Frank he he's just he wants to he wants to do so well. You could tell he, he's a competitor, man. He just wants mm-hmm. to do so well. He's pressing out there, but I want to see him taking the shots. Like he, there's no reason he shouldn't be. Yeah. He, tonight was one of those games where he didn't have to. He was perfectly fine setting people up, and it worked within the flow of the offense because they wasn't really op- leaving him open like that. They would, so. Um, but I would like to, in general, see him taking some more shots. But I'll take it tonight. Yeah, I'll take, it. I'll take it tonight. I'll take it tonight. DSJ looked. He's still looking like he's trying to figure things out. Um, didn't really have much going tonight. So we we needed Frank out there, and and he definitely delivered it in spurts. I thought Taj Taj once again another stabilizing force on the in in the in the lineup what do you think i mean with between mitch and taj i mean because mitch has been giving us some solid minutes off the bench now so do you just just keep it going because it's not really broke yo keep it going man like here's here's the thing with the lineups that happening right now with frank and this, and this is what people were saying in the summer even though dsj has like a higher ceiling when it comes to the team and how and the, the people's tendencies and how they work together, Frank works better with a guys like Randall and Morris who like to shoot more. Like it, like it keeps the ball kind of flowing. So I like Frank in the starting lineup. And then on top of that, Dennis Smith Jr. and DSJ have a pretty good rapport as well with the alley-oops. Um, I haven't seen it that much since the Dallas game, but I, I hope to see, see some more of that. They had a pretty good offensive rating with those two play, playing pink and roll. So I like the lineups right now, keep the consistency going, keep the the camaraderie going, and just, you know, it's, it's good to, to keep squads together so teammates can learn each other's tendencies, man. So I would like got to. to. Got to. Got to. Got to pick that, uh, pick it up from a chemistry standpoint. Um, the rotations are, are looking like they're pretty solid. You know, rotations are looking pretty solid right now. You kind of you're not seeing as much uh, Portis, Randall, and 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 Morris together as much. You did see it a little bit during the the uh, the Hornets game. So mm-hmm. that I think I think they're keeping that balance fairly well. And and again, I think Taj has really given us a lot in, yeah. in terms of leadership on both ends, and and that's really making things easier for everybody else. Yeah, man. Like it's important for Taj to be in these games because he's a veteran presence. He does all the little things correctly, and he'll keep people on their toes. Right. And you see, he'll talk to these guys during the game and keep keep things moving in a positive direction. So I like Taj getting some minutes. Uh, hopefully, if he, hopefully he stays in the rotation. Uh, I think he will. Like, oh yeah, we have no choice. Yeah. Taj, Taj has to. He yeah. has to stay in. So um, good stuff. Another solid outing for for Marcus Morris. Yeah. Once again, having a having a career year. And yeah, and, and yeah, 23 points, 12 of 13 from the free throw line. 77% overall for the Knicks uh, from, the, from the free throw line. So that's pretty good. RJ, 4 for 5 tonight. Randall, 3 yeah. for 5. Taj, 3 for 4. Yeah, overall, the last two games have been shooting better from the free throw line. So hopefully that trend continues to go up because right now we are last in the league when it comes to free throw shooting. Yeah. But kudos to Marcus Morris. Uh, the first quarter, I didn't like the rate that he was shooting at. I mm. feel like he was chucking a little bit, but mm-hmm. we still kind of withstood that. But overall, he played a pretty good game. We were able to take advantage of the size and his mismatches we were getting and yeah. able to punish those guys because he was just bigger than everybody else. <clears throat> uh, agreed. And I thought Julius did a good job of doing that. I thought Bobby did a good job of doing that. You know, we, we have to... This The team is what it is. You know, it's built the way it's built. Rightly or wrongly, whatever. It's not going to be perfect. But right. you, there's still counters that you can make. There's still counters that you can make. And, and, you know, just because the other team has a speed advantage, we have a size advantage. And, and I thought they did a good job of trying to take advantage of that tonight. Yeah, man. We did a good job hitting those boards and taking advantage of it, man. I thought we would try, like, RJ more to take advantage of the size. I, I felt like they started out trying to do that, at least one play, but then they got away, went away from it. But I, I'm not going to harp on that because we still took advantage of uh, – the Julius Randle and Marcus Morris mismatch without Kevin Love being in there. So yeah, no love, no no Larry Nance Jr. So mm-hmm. uh, again, this was a game they the Knicks had to have, man. No doubt about it, man. 